guys welcome back to the channel and to another mod review so we're going to be taking a look at the bff finder event by kawaii stacy so kawaii stacy is amazing at creating mods for the sims so if you are interested in using mods or if you're new to mods and you're looking for something to try for the first time, then this would be a good mod to experiment with. It's pretty easy to use, very simple, straightforward, and adds a bit of extra realism to your game that I think is a cute idea. So what this mod does is it allows your Sims to go on a blind date for friendships. So this is not for romance or trying to look for a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a fiance or a husband or whatever. This is strictly to find your next bestie. So the mod has two separate events. One is for teens and the other is for adults. There is a $20 simoleon. I think you have to pay 20 simoleons. Yes, 20 simoleons for the event to start. And um, how you start the event is you can either use your cell phone or the calendar to plan the event. So once you get your event started, Sims will show up to the lot and they will have the BFF title over their name. So that's how you know those are the Sims that you should be interacting with. Now, if you decide to set this up as a goal event, then you will have certain actions that you need to complete that will help to progress your Sims friendship along the way. You do not have to do a goal event like with any other event. You can choose to have a goal or a non goal event I find the goal event to be a bit more fun than the non goal event but it's definitely up to you whatever you prefer um, whichever one you like best so the only difference between the adult and the teen event I believe is that the teens cannot have an event at the bar so adults can schedule and plan to have their event at a bar but teens cannot so that's basically it it's super simple all of the download links are right here for you guys to grab I will have Kawaii Stacy's page linked in the description below if you guys want to grab this and give it a try out in your game as well. So we're going to hop into game right now and we're going to take a look at this mod in action. Here we are in San Maishuno in the apartment of Carly and Lola Babcock. Now they've recently moved to the city and they're both looking to find some new friends. So Lola's at school right now. So we're going to have Carly schedule an event for herself to see if she can find herself a new bestie. So we're going to click on the calendar and then we're going to add an event. And then we're going to look for our adult BFF finder. Click that. And I think we're going to try the gold event for this. And we're going to click next. And this is for us. So we select Carly. And then we need to choose a location. So let's see. Where should we have it? We could have it at a bar. We could have it at a nightclub or we could have it at a gym. Let's go to um, maybe the Stargazer Lounge. We'll try that and let's see. It is 8.42 in the morning, so we will schedule it for, I wonder if we can just do it for 9 a.m. And there we go. We've been charged our 20 simoleons for that. And so our event should be starting in just a few minutes. We should get a pop-up saying our event is about to begin and if we would like to join. Uh, no, we don't want earbuds. Okay, so our event is about to start. So we have the option of canceling it if we decide we don't want to go to the event or we can let's go and get it started so we're gonna start of course and head over to the lounge here we are now of course it is a rainy day in san maishuno 
So let's head over to the bar here and see if we can order a drink. And then we will, let's see, we'll just get, we're just going to get a water because I have the Slice of Life mod. And she will get a little tipsy if we order alcohol. So let's see who's here. Who is here? Let's put these walls down. Oh, Santa Claus is here. Okay, so we can be best friends with Clement Frost. So he's in the bathroom with Katrina for some strange reason. So let's see if we can call him over just to get him out of the bathroom. Let's see if that'll work. Awesome. Come on over, Clement. We need a best friend. And why not have the man who gives away gifts every year be our new bestie? Okay, so let's give him a friendly inter introduction. So over here, you see we have the actions that we need to complete. So the main goal is to chat with your new BFF, ask your BFF questions, share personal info, take pictures together. Okay, so we've introduced ourselves. Let's tell a joke maybe we'll be funny like we're so funny okay so we need to ask questions so let's try to ask let's ask about your career it'll be interesting to see what he says so we have to ask three questions so <laughs> has learned that he's Father Winter at the far north. That's cool. Is he leaving? Where is he going? Where are you going? Do you have children? Oh, he wants to talk to the toilet instead of us. That's interesting. So is there anyone else that has the BFF over their head or is it just him? It looks like it's just him for now. So let's see if we can call him over again. And then we will ask him some more questions. Let's ask about his day. And let's see what else. What else can we ask? Um, we can ask him for money. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? We want to know. Do you have any siblings? All right. He's an only child, so no siblings. All right. So we've asked two questions. Ask about your day. Are you feeling a little soggy in that outfit? All right, so we've completed that. So we need to be nice. So what do we need to do in order to be nice? So if you, let's see. No, I don't want to do that. Where are you going? Come back. He keeps leaving us. Why do you keep running away? We want to be best friends. <laughs> So we need to share personal information. So how do we complete that? You complete this goal by doing any interaction that starts with share. Okay. So if you're not exactly sure how to complete an in interaction, then you can hover over it and it'll give you a bit more information about what you need to do in order to complete it. So let's see. Come come back. Stop running. Stop running away from us. So let's give him a compliment because we need to be nice three more times. Let's brighten his day. We'll get to know him. I don't know if that'll qualify as being nice. Sure, but why not? Why not? Okay, so we need one more. Oh, he's childish. So we need to share info with him. We can share photos with him. That's sharing some information. What else? What else can we share with you? <laughs> He's like, oh my God, best pictures ever. <laughs> All right, so we can, we're looking for interactions that say share. So there's share photo. Okay, see they're already hugging. So, it, but for some reason he's feeling flirty. There's not going to be any romance here, though. So, okay, so we need to do one more share interaction. And let's see. Well, we can share photos again. That'll work. And then we need to take a picture together also. So can we do that? Let's take a picture together. Yes. We need to take two pictures together. Oh, is he, is he tired? Oh, 
he didn't like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's take another picture together. And then we need to share one more time. Let's see, share, what can we share? Oh, share a secret. Let's start telling our secrets. Like, okay, don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> Promise, cross your heart. All right, so we've completed everything. We basically have a gold event. So the idea is the friendship bar raises a bit more quickly than it does when you're trying to build a relationship and you're not at an event. So that's the idea for this little mod. It's super easy and fun to complete, just a little extra something to do in order to make new friends, or especially good if you like to tell stories with your Sims. It's a great addition for that. So I wonder what, like, do we, Get like something, does something happen at the end when the event is over to say, oh, you're now best friends. I don't know. Maybe we'll get that little dialogue box that pops up to say they're best friends. So we're just going to chat for a little bit more until we get to the end of the event and we'll see what happens. Okay, so our event is just about over and we're feeling super playful. Let's take a look at our friendship bar here. So we're listed as friends. So I guess it really depends. So we've completed, we got a gold medal for the event and we are friends. So that was a successful <laughs> event. I think the amount of friendship that you ultimately gain depends on how much time and effort you put into conversating with the person that has the BFF over their head. So the other thing that I noticed was there was only one person that showed up that has the BFF over their head. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be more or if it will just be one. So that was the event that we scheduled with the calendar. So it looks like she's looking pretty happy that she is now friends with Father Winter. So I think Lola is home from school now. So let's head home and see if Lola can start an event on her phone. So Miss Lola here is just chatting away on the computer, but we're gonna have her hop on her cell phone and have her plan a social event. So we're gonna do it using the cell phone this time instead of the calendar. And I think this time we're gonna skip the goal event so we can take a look and see what it looks like when we don't have goals to complete. So the same thing, we're looking for the BFF Finder, okay, so this is adult, and this also says adult. Okay, I'm not sure if it makes a difference or what the difference is between the two. I picked the other one the first time, so I'm just gonna use this one this time, and we're not gonna have it be a gold event. So let's go ahead, Lola is our girl. And okay, so we can have it at nightclubs, but we cannot have it at a bar. So let's see, where should we have Lola go? She could, well, let's try doing it at the, let, we'll take her to the gym. We'll take her to the Sky Fitness Gym. So we're here at the gym. Let's head inside because it is raining. And we are looking for a sim that has BFF over their head. So let's give it a minute or two. Who is this? Hugo. All right, Hugo. You're our guy. So let's give him a funny introduction. We're going to be funny with him. Oh, he looks like he's sad because he got a little bit wet in the rain. He's like, oh, yeah, you're kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so this, with this option, there's really no, there's no 
interactions to follow. You just kind of do things on your own. And so we'll see how high of a friendship we can get with Hugo by just doing our own thing and not following the goal event. So we're going to brighten his day and let's tell some jokes. Let's be funny. We'll tell him a funny story. Maybe he'll think we're funny. Should we gossip? We'll do a little gossip. Why not? So we'll ask him a few questions and maybe we'll try to, let's see, ask about his day. Maybe we'll see if we can also share some things about ourselves with him. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, he's a foodie. Okay. Do you have siblings? Let's see if he has any siblings. It's kind of weird that we're talking right between this treadmill here. There's somewhere else we can go. Maybe we can. What else is up here? Oh, I think that's outside, though. Is there anything downstairs? Not really any place where we can sit and chat. I'm guessing the gym maybe wasn't the best choice. But that's okay. Let's see if we can chat here. I don't know why. It's, she doesn't have the BFF over her head, but she's all up in the conversation. So... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's confess a fear. That's telling information about ourselves. So why do they keep walking away? Don't walk away from me. Come back. Let's give him props. Like, dude, I know you're feeling a bit sad because it's raining, but you got this, man. I don't know what it is that you got, but you got it. <laughs> let's maybe give him a little bit of a flatter. Oh, that's so cute. We'll tell an engagement. Oh, I think that's a romantic interaction. Oops, we don't want that. We're just looking. We just want to be friends, Hugo. We're not looking for a boyfriend, just a friend. We'll tell a story and let's see. We'll try to be funny. We can tell an inside joke already. That's a good sign. So our friendship is increasing pretty quickly. So we'll brighten his day a bit. Because he was looking a bit sad when he first got here. We can ask for money, which is so funny. Hey, just met you. Got any money? <laughs> Deep conversation. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at their friendship panel. So it says that they're already friends here as well. So I'm wondering if doing things on our own makes it go a little bit faster maybe oh he and he's a loner too so maybe not the best option for our bestie because i don't think he's gonna want to hang out with us a ton but he seems like a pretty cool guy i'm just gonna go ahead and jump to the end of this event and we will see what happens once they reach the end and it's not been a gold event okay so in the middle of them getting to know each other, I think he just left because where did he go? Is that him right there? Oh, he went for a jog. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, he just like disappeared. Like, what the heck, man? All right. So <laughs> that was a, a bit interesting. So maybe try adding them to a group might be helpful so if you guys do get separated then you can easily find each other again because i had no idea where he ran off to okay so our event is just about to end and it looks like honestly you guys it looks like our friendship increased a bit more doing it this way and not having to worry about completing the goals so we only ended up with a friendship with the gold event but just doing it without the goals we ended up with hugo being our good friend so that might be the better option to choose if you are looking to increase your friendship much more quickly so either way if you choose to do it with goals or without goals you are still going to have a good uh, well, at least a friend. 
So either way, whether you choose to do a gold event or a non-gold event, your sim will end up with a brand new friend. So it's just a cute, fun little interaction for your sims to do, especially if you want to get them out of the house and have something to do. Because sometimes I know for me, I I struggle to look for things for my sims to do to get them away from the house. And it's nice to have new interactions, new events to try out and just give your sim a little bit something fun to do and also gaining something in the process. So now this family has two new friends that they can invite over for other events. So. You guys, I hope you found this mod review useful. I would definitely recommend this as a mod to try out, especially if you're brand new to mods and you're looking for something that's super simple to use that you don't have to fuss with a ton to get it to work. You just drop it into your mods folder and you're good to go. Just plan your events and your sims can be making BFFs all over the place. So you guys, if you enjoyed this review, give it a big thumbs up and I will have all of Kawaii Stacy's information in the description down below if you guys want to snag this and give it a try in your game. And if there's other mods that you are interested in checking out, leave that information in the comments down below and we can definitely take a look at those together. So you guys, thank you so, so much for being here with me today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Because I, I, I,